Hi guys, welcome back. So in today's video, I'm going to showcase my Shaper run with the Necromancer Carrion Golem. And I will also like to talk a little bit about the upgrades I did before I run the Shaper. And also some of the requirements and things to take note for a Shaper. So yeah, let's begin with my upgrades first. For my upgrade, I finally purchased the Anima Stone. So by buying a set of primordial stones the harmony uh eminence and might you can actually vendor this tree uh like the vendor recipe it will give you the animal stone and the next thing i purchased was a second set of primordial stone the harmony eminence and might again so yeah i actually purchased two uh primordial might i was like just uh, screw this man let's just get it so yeah, uh, it's like 5 exots gone over here. Okay, and the next I got uh, 2 co iron points. Co iron points are about 30 chaos each. Um, I think this is like just extremely important after getting the anima stone. It boosts your damage very very significantly. So the next, uh, I increased the Karen Golem uh, gem quality by 20%. The multi strike gem quality by twenty percent as well, and uh, because I just had, I just had spare gem cutter to spam on, so yeah, why not? And the last thing I did uh was to set up the animate guardian. It's actually relatively cheap after uh considering. So like um the basic setup consists of kingmaker, uh Lear cast, Goku's pelt. Hunter Gloves with Intimidate on Hit and Victorious Flight. Uh, I actually showcased this basic setup in my previous video. So if you want to know more about this Animate Guardian, uh, be it a basic setup or the Engage setup, you can just refer to my previous guide. So yeah, for the Kingmaker recipe, I you uh, as in sorry, it consists of all of fusing, uh, the Heartbreaker and the soul taker you can just vendor this and give you kingmaker so basically royal uh this heartbreaker costs about i think three chaos and i bought my soul taker at about 50 chaos is around there so yeah the kingmaker costs about 50 chaos dish only it's not really expensive lear cast is also a few chaos i got i bought my growth coast belt pelt at about 20 chaos Hunter Gloves at about 3 or 5 Chaos, can't really remember. And Victorious Flight at... Victorious Flight, I pick it up somewhere along the way of my ex. So yeah, it's actually really cheap. And over here on the right, you can see I actually screenshot my DPS uh, in Path of Building. I actually extracted my current data into it and yeah previously it was at 1 million dps now we are at 2 million dps that's that's a very big leap in short total we are dealing about 8 million dps from our golems and this damage actually doesn't include the animate guardian buffs as well like the uh, kingmaker 45 cowling strike mul uh, crit multiplier and stuff like that so yeah this 2 million damage is just the bare minimum. So yeah, let me talk a little bit about how to get to the Shaper. Um, to run the Shaper, you need to have 4 of the fragments on your map device. The first being a fragment of the Hydra. Uh, you can get this from the Hydra map and, and also the I'm going to showcase each boss element type. So for the Hydra is actually dealing mostly uh, cold damage. And then the next fragment you need will be fragment of the Chimera. Chimera uh, mostly deals physical damage. Uh, fragment of the Phoenix. Fragment of the Phoenix uh, mainly deals fire damage. And last one is a uh, fragment of the Minotaur. Fragment of Minotaur deals physical and lightning damage. So, in my own opinion, as a Karen Golem user, the Minotaur is the hardest to run, it's the most irritating. There are actually, there might be even some instances that I am unable to kill him because, firstly, um, he always dies uh, underground, and because you will not notice that he dies underground, your minions are too many, or either your cosmetics on your minions is just too bright, 
you are unable to track him yeah you you will not be able to see where he when he dives in and the lightning actually does quite a fair bit of damage plus on top of that there's a skill that um makes the um makes the rocks drop right so that that skill actually uh it, it, it actually uh renders you to not be able to circle around him so like you have to stay stationary or you just have a small little circle to to run around and wait but that's where the danger comes because you can't tank his uh physical damage it's just too painful i think even with bone barrier i will get one shot as well yep but honestly if you can do all of them it will be definitely great because on top of that uh, on top of doing the shaper you can actually do the maven invitation the form which actually involves in these four bosses and yeah it actually helps you to progress your your atlas skill point as well so pretty good over there otherwise if you are unable to do it like you will have tons of problem killing this minotaur and like your currency will just go down the drain i would suggest you can just buy the fragment of the trade market okay let's just get started uh, i'm going to showcase my shaper run okay upon entering you there are four corners of boss that you need to kill so these four bosses are basically random bosses around the atlas they can be literally any boss it's just at random uh shouldn't be too difficult so just go in uh hang around there and say hi and kill him and then get out yeah once done you go back in and yeah i'm heading to the next corner over here so there's a little bit of mistake over here you can spot it out i actually <laughs> was standing around the uh, dot damage on the floor and I nearly died but yeah okay all is well yeah this is also actually slightly harder because of the uh, bleed damage you can see my health drastically drop a lot when I'm standing on the uh, dot uh, dot damaging instances so yeah technically while doing this four bosses you should not die just just try to be a little bit more careful yeah because you if you have problems running the shaper you want to utilize the uh, portals as much as you can and yeah this boss is a bit weird cause uh, as you can see when i went in he went out and my minions were like where where, where did he go <laughs> okay so we have done all four runs now and now we are going to try and attempt the shaper so on the first stage of shaper um basically just hang around him uh look out for this dark yeah this dark attack um he will actually just slam you straight and uh it's a one hit kill of course the lasers also is a more or less a one hit kill and the orb as well <coughs> so just take note uh you do not want to tank it i probably don't even think you can tank it at this point yep after that uh you can see it just it's just uh trying to redirect the the attacks here and there so yeah just just go around in circles uh to avoid his uh, laser beams and orbs and yeah the first phase is over after the first phase is over you will be teleported to a map just run through the map and head up as fast as possible you don't really want to waste time over here Yeah, you can see I'm, I'm I don't even bother like trying to kill the minions. I'm just trying to reach to the end of the map. 
So what happens at the end of the map is there will be a small mini boss and you just need to kill it to uh, you just need to kill it to get back into the shaper map. Okay, so now for the second phase of shaper. For the second phase of shaper, you need to remain in the center. If Zana will cast a shield, and as long as you are not within the shield, you are definitely dead. So yeah, there will be lots of chaos damage ops outside around it. Once it's over, try and get out as soon as possible. You can see that the shaper instantly drops the lasers uh, after that and yeah over here suddenly many of my zombies died they they can't really tank and i also died as well <laughs> i misclicked over there i did not use my flame dash yeah so it's a little bit irritating i have to spawn back my uh, zombies So yeah, whenever you see Shaper use the lasers, right, uh, try to go to the opposite side and uh, use Convocation to spawn back your minions so that they don't tank the full damage of the laser. Like, I mean, less, yes, your minion is able to tank a bit, but uh, they will still eventually die. Especially your zombies. Actually, your zombies at this point of time is not really very tanky anymore so they tend to die pretty often yeah if you see um if you look at other players when they say that your minions will hardly die uh, come on guys we those people that play karen golem for long they, you know that it's it's not true yeah, i did another mistake here also <laughs> i literally <laughs> just walked through the ball and died again yeah, I just want to showcase this video because there are actually a few mistakes that I made also and I'm just trying to say that it is still okay. Mistakes are made sometimes. It's not the worst, it's not the end. Yeah, there are just many many different scenarios that will happen and this is just one of the few that I so happened to encounter and I thought it would be nice sharing. Yeah, so if you die in this map, what happens is uh, when you get back to the shaper, he will instantly teleport you and you need to run all the way back up again. Kind of irritating but uh, yeah, no choice. So you can see I'm actually extremely careful over here already. Some of my minions are dying. I like I don't want to take more damage from the ball again. And here I actually made another slight mistake, which is I did not summon my zombie first. So I should summon the zombie before I go into the map. Yeah. So the same thing, just. Just run around in case uh, he suddenly shoots the lasers or the balls or whatsoever. Oh yeah, there's one more thing I forget to mention. Uh, if you were to notice the left op on the side, the black uh, dark hole, black ball or something that spawns a small little dark hole. As long as you see it, try to, try to interact with it at a corner so that it will explode in the corner instead otherwise if you were to stand in Zana's shield and it would to spawn uh, inside the shield I, I think there's no way you can survive that yeah also make sure that uh, do not randomly use your flame dash as you need the flame dash to to escape some of the ops and stuff like that Okay, so that comes to the end of my Shaper Run Showcase. Um, I actually wanted to showcase the Elder Run as well, but um, I have actually forgotten to <laughs> record my runs. And 
I wanted to get more fragments to do the other runs but after much consideration I think I think I just gave it up because I have actually done three to four elder runs and the drops were really really bad like I lost actually lost uh, currency instead of making profit from those runs it's actually quite bad so I decided not to not to go with elder anymore whereas actually shaper there are lots of profit I got um, the, the fragments are actually slightly more expensive and yeah i got two dying suns from the shape already so it's actually quite good yep okay so that's it for today uh thank you for watching do remember to hit the like and subscribe button if you would like to see more video contents i will see you again in the next video thank you bye